Hello. What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing? Oh, okay. Good weekend. Good weekend. Good weekend. Nice and rested. And relaxing. Fun time. Fun weekend. Um. GGs. There, there are some harsh. Anyway, GGs. Wait up for the footage. Uh. Good games of pool. That was good. <laughs> good games of pool. pool. That was. Uh, yeah. I don't. We can do it again another time. Listen, <laughs> pool was like straight up the definition of O and two, but I but got some close. good. <laughs> but it was close, <laughs> right? But I got some good hits in though, right? It was the definition, and 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 you saw it. I can, I can, I can hit the fucking ball in the pocket. You look like you have experience under your belt, but I don't have precision, and I choke. You know, <laughs> I will, be, I will beat me before you beat me. Right, right. In pool, that's how I feel. But that's not to take away from the fact that you fucking you you, you played clean. Well, like you said, some games I kind of like just took it because you gave it to me, but like. The longer the set would have been, the more in danger I would have been. That's how I feel. I feel like you would have been like, okay, like, stop fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you had some good streaks. And, but it's just, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta like, it's, it's, it, you, the more you play, the more you practice, the better you get at that sort of thing. Yeah. But either way, it was very fun. I haven't played in a while. Um, good sets in ki got some long that was so fun got some long ki sets going dude i'm in love with this game really good right I'm really like, really good mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh i feel as if though like it was necessary to just like mentally reset yeah the disconnect. and and uh kind of just you know get get ourselves into a uh a, a zen state um and then back to the grind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but I will say this though, like that the the pool game we played is a game that, like, you know, is something that you kind of the more you understand, like trigonometry, yeah, the better you're gonna fucking be at pool, right? Yeah, the more you would, and if you did physics, you're gonna be be even better. Right. Yeah. So if you have an advanced understanding of math, you would do better at pool. One would assume. Yeah. So I feel like, personally, despite the results we saw, um, perhaps Reggie, you could improve on your math a little bit. And uh, I have a really good recommendation as to how you might be able to do that. And what is that? Um, well, if you, you can work on your trig, you can work on your, you know, like there's a couple of different programs out there that help you. But like um, your fra- if you work on fractions in particular, that's a really nice way of like getting your fucking game up. Okay. So if you understand and you can triangulate angles and you can fucking see the, you know what I mean? Like it starts, it starts with math. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. So I, I don't know how deep you're gonna go with this, but yeah, like well, there is a, a projectile physics where like oh you can calculate the angles of of bounce and it like yeah you know. you, you, like it's it's so you can you can feel your way through it like learning how to play an instrument yeah right but you can definitely like numerically yes. figure it out as well yeah. and if you're able to like turn the numbers into a, a like a plane in your head then like you'll be unstoppable so i thought let's work on our math today okay how does that sound <laughs> well, well okay i'm listening i'm, I'm, I'm listening. saying i'm saying that we're gonna take a little detour before mario and we're gonna work on our math <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna work on our math today by just playing some some basic ass you know uh <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Uh, well, you know, sometimes your instincts, they're like, be aware that something might go wrong. Well, the only thing I can see going wrong is if you... So you're going like, to test me? The only thing I can see going wrong is if uh, you or I 
uh, end up having our balls exposed because our math <laughs> skills are terrible. But I don't believe you have terrible math skills. I believe you can do calculations quickly. I would need to warm up, but it, and it depends at which degree of calculations. If well, you're asking me, like, uh, you know, let's start with a couple flashcards and see where we go. You if know? you're asking me, like, 23 times something, I need to have my shortcuts ready, you know? Okay. All right. All right. Well, how about this? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a little detour, <laughs> and it might involve the cube. One of these <laughs> might involve one of these. Um, I'm listening. So let's let's just get nice and set up over here. <laughs> what the fuck is I happening? May, you know, um, the problem is is the space, as usual, as you remember, on this couch is a little bit tight. Okay, a little bit limited. But I have an idea. Okay, I'm listening. I have an idea. How about we put this one right over here. And you put this one right over there. Oh my god, I'm getting fully tested right now. And we put this right in between you. Pop quiz. Get into the cube. And we get ourselves... <laughs> what the fuck is that? We get ourselves ready <laughs> to play something that'll improve our math. Sound good? I need my headphones for this, right? Game of the Decade Edition. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't think too hard about it. Don't no? worry. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry yeah. about it. Is this a, a thing? Is this um, thing, something you discovered recently? Mm, so this is one of those things that is like... This helped many people figure out math. Okay? Okay. So let me just hit that button. Although, to be honest, we should probably... Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out and then and sort this out in the right order. All right. And then I got to get my headphones. Uh, when's the last time you had to do any, any actual, like, fucking calculations? Uh, maybe taxes slash budget? Budgeting? And even then, like, you have a calculator, and you're lazy, and you do 53 plus 12, and you're, like, turning your brain off. Okay. Like, well, this is in full interest of, uh, you know, seeing what's possible, improving it, and then, hey, maybe we'll get better at pool. Sound good? <laughs> I'm with you. All right. All right. Take me on this adventure. That is Frog Fractions. <laughs> Let me just get you your keyboard. <laughs> God. I can put the the mouse on the right side and everything. Yep. I've been cornered. Yes. I've been cornered. Keyboard is in front of Reggie. Mouse is where it should be. Okay. You are gamer cubed in, and you are ready to do some fractions. Jesus Christ. So, uh. Without further ado, I think we're good to go. Yeah, should um, I check the options? Should I, uh... I mean, I think it's pretty... Like, we can check it out for a second. I think it's pretty simple. You're not colorblind, right? Nope. Okay. Full, uh, screen. full screen is on. Eating Editing sounds. Edit. No. I like next gen. That's yeah, let's, fine. Let's keep it next gen. All right. Let's play Frog Fractions, bro. So what... What, what the, the fuck? All right. So, you got your mouse. You and got some apples. What? Like... And you what? can... Eat... You oh, could, okay. Right? Stick your tongue out to eat. What the frick? That was, uh... Right? Five... Five, five over eight, eight. Two thirds. What? Mm -hmm. uh, I, what is the logic? One half? One fifth? And you see your score at the top? Oh! Okay. Well, okay, eight fifty-one out of one twenty. Yeah. Now your indignity, however, is building. Okay. So just eat. Do what you can. Do I have to... Do they have different values? See, I need you to think on your feet, Reggie. You see, you have one fruit. Your indignity filled up. Zorkmids are at 12. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I didn't see the but, Zorkmids. But your score is all fucked up. Uh, uh, so let's try that again. Okay. Do your best. Can I even eat the fruit? Yes, I can't. And this... As you see, the animals are, 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 are you know, doing their best. The, 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 the insects are doing their best to reach the fruit. You should probably... I should stop them? You should probably eat. 
Yeah, you should probably oh, stop them. Okay. But like, is there? Oh, son of a! <laughs> what the frick? Oh, okay. Let's try this for real this time. I'm gonna eat the. Cause right now I'm not even thinking about the fractions. I have. I'm... Yeah, you're gonna need. You're gonna need to kind of, you know, start. You're gonna need to start like, getting a little bit faster. With your reaction and your and your calculations, you know. Quite calculations? Frankly. Can you help me? I mean, I like I see the number going like up a lot, and when I eat them. Okay, here we go. Look at that. What what, what, so what just happened? You did a better job. You aimed faster. Okay. And you managed to, to salvage the situation by getting yourself some more fruit, and you've cleared the stage. Your <laughs> score: twenty-seven forty-seven out of sixty. Okay. Thoughts. All right, that's fine. It's pretty arbitrary. What do you What do you want to buy here? Uh, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, durians are too expensive. Let's get some turtles. Okay. I can ride that. Upgrade your lily pad to a turtle friend. Ride him over to grab fruit off to your side, off to the side. But who put that fruit there anyway? It costs five fruit to buy that. So that's that's one of the options. And then of course you've got the bottom one there. Cybernetic brain, anything your regular old frog brain can do. This new fangled cybernetic frog brain can do better. Eight Zork mates for that. So, you know, uh, whatever strikes your fancy. Let's get, let's get this one. And I'll have arrows. WSD. Oh, shit. And. All right. Th two thirds. There you go. And you got movement going on. Now, your score is probably, I would imagine, the sum total of everything that you are consuming, right? Yeah. So suddenly, that score starts to make a little bit more sense. Uh, let's get this thing. Oh my, okay. Oh, the, what's that Oh my now? god, why is it getting... Hold oh on. my god. Is that a different kind of fraction? Unreal numbers and shit? Euler constants? Oh my god. Looks like we're looking at, at a different kind of fraction. Oh my god. No, my in indignity is going up. Your indignity is going up. Freak, freak off. Freak off. Now check out your score, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 1.06. What, what, what kind of nerd made this game? <laughs> One who wants to improve your ability to understand fractions, Reggie. What's your problem? Did you buy? What'd you buy? Durian? You bought the durian? Yeah. Guess what? Durians smell like shit. They do. But I. Oh man, I want to try a fresh durian. Oh, freak off! Freak off! Well, maybe if you figure out your math. You can figure out the cost of a durian and then eventually go spend the right amount of money to buy one. But it all starts here. How'd you do in math in school? Uh, on the Xinyang team, I was the guy that would like buzz in the fastest for like quick math. Like, oh, uh, 12 times 8 plus 7 divided by blah, 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 oh, blah. Oh, you, so you I were a little, the, you're a little math lead. One, and uh, I was pretty good in maths too. Okay, lock on targeting. Gotta, gotta, gotta get those description in, right? But now, no, look at that. Okay. That's pretty. That's, that, that's pretty big that, deal. That, that, that's a pretty big deal. Hey, 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 who told you to don't touch my durians? I want a stinky durian. I think uh, you can buy, like, durian ice cream. Like popsicles, ah. and they're they're really tasty, but they don't smell uh, as bad as the real thing, though. That's too expensive. Is fake durian like fake watermelon, perhaps? Okay, so static cling tongue. Rub balloons against your tongue before extending it, <laughs> and nearby bugs will stick to one another. Science, just like that. Okay. Frog, Frog fractions teeps teaches typing. Oh my God. Where you at though? Okay, okay. You, the, fr the fractions ain't enough, cause yeah, sure you're at one point eight four. What is that, I guess, like, expressed, or exponent, <laughs> or, uh, 
like going on into infinity numbers and felt fake numbers exactly, but uh, don't worry about that. Let's let's get. Oh shit! Hey, decent job. Not too bad. Is that a fart? What was that? Durians don't start. Durians are like farty, so you know. <laughs> so that's what it is. Um, typing. You got some typing skills. Okay. This is a good keyboard, though. It is. A, it's the fucking sickest keyboard. <laughs> it's really good. It's a, it's, it, it is. It's mechanical as oh fuck. Oh my god, did you see the suck sure on that did. tongue? So that is those, the power of those upgrades. And your indignity stays low. The fruit go up. Look at that. Oh my god, we're eating. We're protein. <laughs> protein and smart. Yo, fill up. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> No, hey, don't, don't you dare. Mm -mm. Okay, now, now, now we're cooking. Well, oh. Now, hold on, what's the second to last one there? Uninstall lock on targeting. The chicks won't, di don't dig cyborgs. It makes looking bugs less fun anyway. Get the surgeon to, okay, so you can take it off oh, or you can get your fine. new upgrade. Uh, and then of course you've got a couple, of, there's the locked ones, right? Like. Requires PR department. Requires dragon. Warp. Okay, a lot, a lot going on. Awesome. The more items I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can get stuff. You got, you got eleven fruits. How much and is I that? And I cannot take you anyone. Can, yeah, you can. How much is that dragon? Ten, Ten fruits. Let's take it. Let's Upgrade take your it. turtle friend to a dragon friend. He will love his new dragon shape, and I swear that shell is just holding him back. That's pretty sick. Okay. Yo. Now. Oh, it's a nice looking one too. You got a full. You got a full dragon. You got upgraded tongue. That's pretty sick. And now here comes what, what? Oh my God! Here comes the bullets, though. Okay. I see. Show me your ability to dodge. Yo, I'm good. I'm good. I got this. Oh god. Show oh, me your oh, shmup. What, what? No! No! Show me your shmup. How big is my... Oh, is it the ball? It's the red ball. Okay, I see. I see. Your indignity is going up. Oh my god. Tongue! 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 Why, why wasn't it tonguing? Where was my tongue? Me what the freak? I don't know about that built that bullet hell. Uh, your bullet bullet oh hell my skills, God. my dude. I think you need to okay. step it up on your. I'm gonna uh, step my game up. Yeah. There okay, you go. Okay, I see. I see. I see. I, rec I recommend Mushikime Sama, Pink Sweets, Toho, Ibara, Ibara, Ibara. Good dick. What? No, 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 not Ibara. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ibara. Oh, okay, I see. It's a, it's a shmup. It's a good shmup. <laughs> Radiant Silver Gun. Good shit. Karas. Parodius. Lots of places you can go. Oh, my God. Okay, you're doing better this time around. Yeah, now I get it. Yeah, you, just, get you it. just you gotta you gotta be wary of the bullets. You gotta be wary of the bullets. Okay, so, uh, yeah. what's what's up there? I don't want to in uninstall yeah. it though. But this but. is to inspect it. A oh, warp drive. Hmm. Twenty five thousand fruit. That's a lot of fruit. Uh, Can you do math? What's how much fruit do you have? Ten. How much fruit does that cost? Twenty five thousand. How much do you need to gain it? Twenty five hundred. That's not the number. Uh oh. <laughs> what's Wait, what's twenty five thousand? What's twenty five thousand minus ten? Is what I'm asking you. Twenty four thousand ninety. Okay. Nine all right. Just just, just just check in. Just check in. All right. But your Zork mids are at four, so don't worry about it. No, don't. Hey. Oh shit. shit. Let's go. Uh, ara. What? No, ara. Is. Stash. Scuba. Mm. There you go. Honest. Uh oh. We're good, we're good. Are you? Oh, yeah, I'm perfect, I'm can't, perfect. Can't type honest? What's Don't up shut with that? me. Sense. I have a good sense of things. Nuns. Attenuate. Unsheath. Oh my, the, the, the <laughs> get this out of here. Get what out of where? This wire. Oh, that's your headphones. Yeah. Okay, well, here, I'll tuck that to the side. Oh, we're getting there. Oh. 14 fruit. 14 fruit. I'll tuck it to the side for you. Keep keeping me on my toes. Uh, oh. That's way too much. Way too many flies. There's a lot. Frog. There's a lot. And, you know, they're trying to they're trying to eat. But your frog's doing pretty sick right now. Nice nice dodge. 
Oh. Yeah, I had to use my peripheral vision there. Mm -hmm. oh. Is there any point in getting this? I mean, to uninstall it? It's, that should be good. It's up to you. Oh, that's a lot of balls. That's a lot of balls. It's okay, I like balls. What is happening? At some point, this should level up. Mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna get there. Ah, oh, frig. Frig off, Leahy. Frig off. Okay, I'm getting better at this. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh my god, my suck is massive. <laughs> yeah! We're at seven. Yeah. It's so good. Look at the improvement, Wooly. Going to MIT soon. I mean, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, the what, do, what do you? What do you? What do you feel? What do you feel like doing? What is happening? Okay. You know what? I'll uninstall this just because I want to do something. Maybe I'll get the chicks. Detention. Whoa. And these words are getting longer and longer. Oh. Anesthesia. Anesthesia. Huh? Sainthood. Okay. Okay. That's my type of thing. Periscope. Does that still exist? Uh, I'm pretty sure Twitter owns it. Oh, that? GG. Satiated. Od odorous. Standy. The stand. Did you ever had uh, have to do a um, computer class typing tests? I certainly did. Yeah, I certainly did. Do you remember the name of your program? That I, you had to I use? don't, but it was there was a little like running oh person on a hey, what's going on? <laughs> I sure do miss lock on target. It was pretty sweet. Okay, let's unlock as many things as we can. I think this is what we're gonna do. Oh, did you did you not like your uninstall? The fact that I uninstalled it and it added more features right away, I'm like, okay, let's just unlock everything. Okay. Because, you know, it's just... It's content, you right? To, you, well, you, uh, forget forget about that. Forget about that. Oh, shit. What's going on? Sick of... <laughs> this is has, doesn't have the friction of going all natural. Do you like lock on or not? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about lock on, Reggie? I, I like Au Natural. I really do. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm gonna spend these. <laughs> Where are you bringing me with this? Already shady descriptions. What? Oh, I, I'm talk, dude. We talk, We played pool. We said pool is math. I just thought, yo, I know something that can help with math. You feeling it over your head? You're able to. You're following along so far. Is the narrative kind of losing you a little bit? Uh oh, a wee bit. Okay, what's going on? But more action. Automation is what separates us from the apes. <laughs> if you think, if you about, think it. about it. <laughs> We're evolving. Are you, do you have a brain that is open and ready and willing to learn? Do you still have your childlike sponge brain? Because I say that's the right way to live, you know? No, I think my, my brain is getting hard Calcified. and dry, calloused. <laughs> Manual targeting is more fuel efficient and faster. You know, I mean, hard to argue. Okay. We're trying, we're trying. And we're still on wave one. Huh. How about... Uh, uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, my God. dragon is sick. Look at the tail. <laughs> Frees me to focus my attention on things that actually matter, like my kids! And deciding which bugs need to die first. Cost two fruit. Hey! Recidivist! You, did you have to type that word as a kid? No, I did not! No? What is the age level for this game, by the way? I mean, take a look at it. What do you think it is? Peristaltis. My bowels are moving right now. I am in a precarious situation. Like... I think the theme is worn on its sleeve, quite frankly. <laughs> oh my god! Pyroclastic! Apiary. Oh, that's bee stuff. We didn't see any bees today. Profiterole. Uh, Italian pastry, I think. Particulate. Is that for particles or like particular? I don't know. Particular. <laughs> Studies show that manual targeters live longer and happier lives. Listen. Do they? It's sometimes it's hard to make decisions in life, Reggie, but you have to make them. You have to commit to what you feel deep down inside. <sighs> what do I really want, Willie? Do you want lock on targeting? Or do you want old school manual? Do you want to embrace technology and the and the future that science has brought us? Or do you prefer the way our ancestors did it? The old school, the manual lock-on. The feel of the hunt. God damn it. No! Oh, get you away know, from the fruit! The appeal to your can be just as strong as the appeal to posterity. We have to preserve everything. We have to preserve history, though. You know what's awesome? Waffles. They are awesome. I stayed at a hotel with a waffle maker in the lobby once, and it was amazing. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I want to know who I'm talking to right now. Frogs gotta eat bugs, Reggie. They have to eat. You're thinking pretty hard. Oh god. Lots of balls. We're good. <laughs> Uninstall lock on targeting. Oh man, I could go for some waffles too. Is I, is IHOP still open this time of night? How do you feel about modernity, Reggie? Do you embrace modernity or do you reject it? I guess I'll, I'll have to embrace it. Okay. <laughs> oh god. How do you feel about... About sometimes taking the road less traveled? About finding your own path? That is important to do. It is, isn't it? Also, how else do we expand our minds, you know? Right. Now, how does one expand their mind when it seems to be faced with limits on either side, when it seems like all you can do is turn left or right. What does one truly do to face the future? And how do you prepare yourself psychologically for what challenges are to come? What do you think? Oh, this is pretty cryptic. What's going on? Yeah, man, I think so. <laughs> anyway, worst case, we could get frozen waffles at Max's. It's still open 24 hours. Cost two fruit. Max's? I don't know. I don't trust a restaurant called Max's. Okay. What do you trust? Myself. What puts your trust in yourself? Uh, my experience and what I've seen previously. And what you have seen previously leads you down a path of expectation? Yes. Have you ever done something that is very much unlike yourself? Hmm. Yeah. Have you ever done something that goes outside the realm of your expectations? Definitely. I'm sure that has happened, of course. Okay. Underwater. 
basting. Belligerent. Oh, God. Oh, rough one on that. Okay. Very rough. What is that word? Algebraist. A practitioner of algebra. Right. That's what I want you to become. It might take a minute to get there, but I want- uh, but I, I have faith. <laughs> I have faith. Awesome! Let's get out of here. I think they decided on the, uh, the Depanner. Okay! Instead of the IHOP. We have a story going on here. So... Tell me again about... The road less traveled and, and how you feel... About... Oops. Defying... That which you find in front of you. I would... You know what? I'm still right about lock-on targeting. Lock-on targeting is pretty fucking handy, I gotta say. It feels pretty good to have it. <sighs> okay, we have this here, and we have a bit more space here. You do have a little bit more space. You are somebody that is good at staying on target, though. That much is true. Right. Like, you're pretty solid at staying focused. I've never, like, seen you... I've seen you get shook, <laughs> but I've never seen you, like, completely lose sight of what you're trying to do. You know? Well, I tell myself, you know, you can try and fail, but it doesn't mean you have to stop trying, you know? Yeah. Let's keep going. Definitely. But sometimes it's it's funny how life gives you options, and you know you they give you it gives you the ability to like move in situations where you feel stuck. And personally, I've had to go through a lot of situations to realize when I had options that I didn't think I had. What's the latest update? No, uh For 10 fruit. You know, there's times when I was growing up when, like, you know, my family and the people I had grown up with and the only people I knew would be like, hey man, you, you, can, go there, you can either go left, that's where church is, or you can go right, down the pathway to hell. You know, and your only choices are God or Satan. And I'm like, well, I don't want Satan. And they're like, well, then you have to go to God. And it's either left or right. And I'm like, but I don't want to go to either one of those places. And I want to go somewhere else. And they're like, no, you got to choose left or right, church or, or hell. And I'm like, what if I found my own path that had nothing to do with church or hell? And I kind of went into a different direction entirely from what they were giving me. Because you see, when you think the only thing is that's gonna happen is you either accept the word of God or you either go to hell. I mean, like, it's personal. I'm Admittedly, I'm not talking for everybody, but I just mean for me, you know? I, 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 I had to choose to go a different direction from left or right in my life. I don't know if you've ever encountered that in yours, but to me, that's what I felt like was a very large turning moment. And it got me better at math while I was at it. Okay. What did I get into? Fractions. What's that update? No, uh, ten fruit. That's all the fruit you got. Guess we'll spend it. Oh. No, don't don't get it. Have you ever been put into a, con a situation similar to that where everything you you know I don't know who would have, would have told you. But they're like, hey, Reggie, you can e you can only go left or right. And you're like, fuck. I guess those are my only choices. Am. <laughs> All right. Looks like he's, he's, he's still figuring it out. Ah. Oh, gosh. Game crack. G like, what's that? G give me crack? In the K-hole? Hmm. That keyboard has, has changed up. That doesn't look... Whoa! That keyboard doesn't... <laughs> that's not a... <laughs> what the... That is not a regular-ass keyboard anymore. That we've gotten... We've yeah, gotten... what is that? We've gotten Dvorak. 
I think we've gone Dvorak on the keyboard. Are you familiar with Dvorak keyboards? Uh, they're not QWERTY. It's they're a, not QWERTY and they're not AZERTY either. No, and uh, you know, there's an argument to say that they're more natural, but personally, I think uh, we've just gotten used to our, our, our ways. Um, it's almost like, you know, Americans with um, the Imperial system. What the? You can dodge bullets really efficiently now. You know what? I'm surprised I didn't see that earlier. See what? The fact that I can go up. Well, now you can fucking really dodge efficiently. What do you think was holding you back? I don't know. The My expectations and my old preconstructed universe and parameters that I arbitrarily set based on based on absolutely nothing just previous ex ex like expectation mm -hmm. of having games telling me like oh yeah if the stuff is coming from the top you have to stay at the bottom can I get off screen no I guess I can't oh, deal with your, your your why are we still talking about this <laughs> Okay. You you finished the wave before you finished your thought. But like you were saying. Yeah, like you think of any game like Space Invaders uh -huh. or something like that where the end My mind has been opened. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Um... Yeah, what What the fuck do I know, right? What the fuck do I know? I gotta open my mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, you got a lot of fruit. Oh my god. Glad you could finally make it, Lieutenant Dude, Hop. I'm sorry, We're I was We're dealing so with a serious infestation here. Be careful around those asteroids. Don't let them push you around. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, never seen those bugs shoot at anyone but you. I think they might be racist. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I was not ready. Yo, the adventure just started, has it? Were you ready? No! No! I was not ready! What was holding you back? I don't know! There's Bugmars now. Their home planet. They're gonna regret messing with us. Mm -hmm. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I'm sorry! Don't forget how to avoid bullets, bullets Lieutenant Hop. Yo! Okay. Now. I'm now a lieutenant. You are, but you're trying to improve your math. You're Ouch. trying to get better Ouch. at fractions. Ouch. Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. Warning: No refuge. Be attitude for gains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Wonder if there's a big guy over there that has any tips about dealing with fractions. So, Beatitude for Gains is a shmup reference. And no refuge is Ikaruga. This is a Gradius there type you? of uh, How boss. About that? Uh oh, it's gonna shoot! Destroy no, the core! What? No! No! You are under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into a native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Uh... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Not with that glassy-eyed stare. No. These charges will carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How'd you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bugmars? 
I mean, that sound that sounds good. Huh. Look, Mars. <laughs> okay. You know what? I I love it here on Bug Mars. I've never been to a bug year Mars. How about I click that one? Excellent! All you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Hmm... I, I want to, to phone a friend and call Mr. Trump. He knows what the 13 stripes mean, so... Four bug stripes, that's, that's way less than 13. Take your best guess. Schenectady? No? A little bit you don't, on the nose. You don't, you don't want to say Schenectady? <laughs> a little bit on the nose, isn't it? You can blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Anyway, next question. On the series of Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, I, uh, I don't really watch TV, Your Honor. Especially Bug Jersey Shore, okay? I don't support this shit. I'm not about this situation. What is the situation? I don't want to know about it. It's it's an eight pack. Whoa, we got a situation. Whoa, we got a situation. You think you're better than us, huh? Well, nobody on Bug Mars has ever heard of TV. Four score and 20 bugs ago, Bug in Chief Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Bugs that we, in the that we are blessed with which inalienable right. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Right to parade around the court in your knickers. That sounds good. How the hell should I know? I'm a frog. Oh, oh God, God, bugs <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> you know what? How should I know? How should I know? That's correct. During the War of Bug 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson <laughs> held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? A mint julep awaits you on the other side. <sighs> uh... Yeah! Yeah! 420. A shameful moment in our history. He regretted it for the rest of his life. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? <laughs> well, according to this adventure, be honest. I'm asking how. How do you feel about fractions? Yeah, they're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. Integer. Integer. <laughs> I've stumbled on that word before too. Spoken like a true bug. I'm impressed, Mr. Fro Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score of a fake naturalization program I've ever seen. We're gonna fire you into the sun, but instead, we were gonna fire you into the sun, but instead, we've decided to issue you a work visa. If you'll just sign here, America. I mean, Bug Mars. Bartholomew Salience. <laughs> Chitin donor. Insectopolis. One 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 oh one. Beautiful. All right, these are my eyes, not not boobs. Done and done. Good job. You thought Mars fractions are the best fractions. Oh Jesus! Right. I'm curious. Let's let's do one round. See what our items here will spawn. I mean, you're a citizen of Bug Mars now. You can do whatever you want. Hell yeah. Let me work a bit, you know? Help the, uh, the economy. Hey, what the frick? Oh, there was a gift! Hey, what was that thing that just fell? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> to purchase Murph Song and serve a $20 bill to your CD-ROM drive. CD-ROM drive? That's what a cup holder. What do you got access to there? PR department. Too expensive. This well-trained team of marketers ensure that your public, that the public has correct, 
the correct impression of you for 2,000 Zork mids. Hey, uh, guess what? Four. You were holding on to four Zork mids the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were born ready for this. You didn't think you were. Did you think you were? You said you weren't ready, right? Nope. That's what you said. That's what I said. But were you holding on to Zork mids? No. Yeah, you were. Just top, a few. Top, yeah. But you had some. And where can you use Zork mids? On bug bars, right? Okay. So technically, you are already a part of the bug bars economy, which That's means true. you were ready, even though you didn't think you were. Okay. Let's let's. let's oh, Shiza. Interlocutress. Interlocutress, yeah. Footbridge. All right. Duncan on him. Cyclothron. Nice. Uh, Jack and Apes. Could he want on this guy? Probably some kind of animal. A little bit of pursuit. Hey. I love us. I, we had some pursuit this weekend. I love a good slice of pursuit. Nice and thin. Bed springs. What happens when you use up your bed? But not if you've got a Casper mattress. <laughs> Caltrops. No. Pretty uh, good ability from uh, Aaron Black. Deeper. Oh shit. Are you going on an adventure? Hello. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator Andre Felipe, <laughs> boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Oh word? Tell me more, super suave voice. Felt like I could eat it. Oh, it's probably evil. A little puffer fish. Uh, exploration? It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637 <gasps> after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds-on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. What? What? Uh, uh, okay, dude. Enjoy your TV. What the? He looked like that guy in uh, Aqua Teen Hunger, Hunger Force. Force. Yeah, his name's Carl. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Carl. <laughs> okay. Carry on. My wayward son. <laughs> Sure. And up the curve and around the bend. Man, that dragon upgrade was pretty good, huh? Whoops, it easy. Oh, it didn't hurt. Universally me. agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill, and the rest is history. After a few sports sport school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. Although, bare knuckle boxing is a thing to date. That is still practiced. So violent. The theory being that, um, it's, it's, it's almost like the, the rugby theory where it's like the damage won't be as bad because you're not, uh, you can't go as hard with your raw hand in the same way that with rugby because you don't have any protection. Mm. The body 
uh, it won't stops you naturally or something. Yes, fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. I would like to do a sparing match. At yeah. least like one round of three minutes and just like see how terrible it is. I've sparred. Yeah. It wasn't fun. <laughs> Didn't you get bodied? Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> he was, uh, he definitely, he's, he's, he's had a couple matches. He knows what he's doing. Didn't hold back. It was a Dudley forward throw. Okay. Gut, 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 gut. Whew. What's up? Little what is this? Little, uh, little Zaku head. Okay. Let's keep on exploring so deep in the waters right now. The real wonder though is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Oh shit, come you son of Nigeria! The fisticuffs. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped. You feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. module. The walls of this circular room curve to meet the, at the point uh, at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. If you don't know how to get started, type help and press enter. What next? What next? This is a story that you interact with by entering entering simple English commands. Some examples. Look around, or just look. Examine ball, or X ball. Inventory, or just I. Get wrench, turn knob, push button, enter phone booth, climb stairs, open box, read pamphlet, pour orange juice into glass, put plate on placemat. And finally, remember the adventure. Gamer's maxim. If it's possible to do, it must be good and wise. What next? Okay. Oh. The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lighting the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. The ladder leads aft. So they said it was X to examine, X, uh. How do they call it? Control. Okay, control deck. X control deck. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never override the ship's autopilot, because there were definitely not frog joysticks. These are definitely not frog joysticks, excuse me. Oh, okay, the same stuff. Uh, push button. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so abstruse that before you can consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button and are at the main map again. Um. Examine language options. <laughs> I don't understand, understand what you want, what to, you want to X. Okay. Uh. <laughs> X ship. I don't understand. Okay, let's use keywords here. Porthole. X porthole. 
Through the porthole, you can see the background of stars shifting as the je ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. X glowing display. Seriously? Okay. Uh. Are there knobs around? That was just an example. There are no <laughs> knobs in space. Oh, yeah? What if I... Fine, fine, okay. The game is smart. The game is smart. Uh... The walls of the circular room curve to meet at a point. Lighting the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control stack. A ladder leads aft. Uh, climb ladder. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore, and an oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. X rug. This decorative oriental rug, oriental rug, <laughs> sits in the center of the room. Looking at it more closely, it doesn't quite lay flat on the floor, and there's a significant dip in the middle, around the middle. Remove rug. Moving the rug, you discover it a recessed hatch below it. Your score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. Okay. Congratulations. Open hatch. You're now a man. You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Uh, enter hatch. You step through the hatch. Engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarter to the fore. Um... X goop. Right. Thin coating of sticky pink goop covers the surface of the room. X green machine. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at the flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. What's a spigot? Read sheet. This is the out of order note included in your game package. Of what? A spigot is a water sprout. Okay. A faucet. Uh, X platform. Right, okay. Uh, so it's a water spout aimed at a flat platform. Hop on platform? I only stood that as far as hop. It's not a place you can go. Uh... Look. Hmm. Look around again. Nearly every surface of the room, covered in a sticky pink goop, seems to be thicker, with a gray machine sitting in the corner. Hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters at the fore. Uh. X wires? Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can. Your guessing doesn't belong there. You twist the can and it eventually comes loose. Oh. But you've ripped the insulation off the adjacent wire in the process, and it begins sparking as it comes into contact with the adjacent strut. Uh oh. You glance down at what you've taken. Huh. It really is a coffee can. Lick sparks. Okay, never mind. Uh. <laughs> Uh, maybe. Never mind. This empty coffee can. And it's out of order. Can I put the coffee can to connect the wires? Uh. And there's. Okay, there's goop, there's gray stuff. There's uh, wires, and we broke the wires right now. And... Uh, it's thicker near the machine. 
Oh, um, the goop is stuck to the surfaces. Indeed, it is. You want to check out your can? So thick. Uh, X. An empty coffee can. Yeah. Uh, how about what actions do I have? Put can. <laughs> it doesn't get put can on platform neither you can place a can below the spigot oh put can below spigot you need to be holding the hold coffee can under spigot you need to be holding the coffee can to do that hold the coffee can I don't understand what you want to hold coffee can. Uh, <laughs> I believe. What is the I right believe, phrasing? I, I, I believe it's 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 already there. You place the can below the spigot. Okay. Uh, are there buttons around? Active. Hmm. I'm not sure, Willie. You put the can below the spigot, the, sp the faucet, essentially. Yeah. So, what would you do next? With the faucet. Uh, are there, is there a knob around? Fuck. Uh, how'd that turn on? Uh, huh. I'm not sure what to do here. Okay, examine the room again. Look around. Yeah, we have the goop. It's near the gray machine in the corner. Mm -hmm. There's a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. We checked the... You can examine the spigot. Spigot aimed at a flat platform. There's an empty coffee can sitting under the spigot. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. This is the out of order note included uh, in your game package. So, mm, if it's out of order, uh, do I have to fix it or should I leave? Well, you can uh, try getting a you can try getting a closer look at the paper. Or like. Okay. You rip the tape off the machine. The note comes with it, revealing a control panel. Now we're making progress. What's in the control panel? Most of the control panel is rendered unstable, unusable by the sticky oh, pink son of goop. Bitch. Uh, you see preset, but you see a row of what looks like radio preset buttons, all but all but two of which are stuck. There's also a big red lever. None of these are legibly labeled. Can I? Two of those presets look like they are com not completely ruined by the pink goop. The rightmost is the one depressed, and the left one is raised. Um, and there's a lever. So do I touch the lever or the raised button first? It's a radio panel. If it's depressed, it might be. Well, we don't know what happened. Did they get? Did they die and get gooped up? Let's let's push. Let's. Pull lever. Okay. Oh my god. Dispensing <laughs> mom's specialty. The machine says, what? A thick stream of pink goop streams out everywhere. It's, it mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. You, a few drop lands in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected, a different voice says. A ring sound in shoes. And the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. What next? Bacon milkshake. <laughs> I 
I mean, shops earlier were enough bacon milkshake for one. I still don't know if it's bad for me. I mean, I'll as well keep eating it. Uh, so the goop is out. Yeah. Um. Man, this frog is getting some action right now, eh? What about if we push the button? A raise button. Point. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Raise button clicks into place and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. The machine whirs, dispensing local currency. Let's fucking a go. Voice says, a thick stream of Zork mids sh shoot out from the faucet, bounce off the flat of the platform, and scatter around the room. Collect Zork mids. Uh, you spend a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zork mids. Your score point has gone up by a third of a point. Uh, is there anything else? Still the same description. And we've pushed the lever with both settings, right? So I guess we can... You got your money. Um... Uh... There we go. Okay. All-purpose living area. Sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. Ladder leads to the fore. You've pulled the rug to the side, revealing a hatchway leading aft. The sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top, next to the gauge, reading, empty. Okay. Uh... The nightstand offers a single drawer, which is closed. What's in it? You open the drawer, revealing a thick manual. What's the manual about? It's a manual for navigating for the navigation computer in the command module. Sweet. After leaping through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bugmars. Two and an eighth points. Yo, that frog is pretty smart. Um, yeah, the ladder, and we pulled the rug. Yeah, went through the hashway, so... Uh... You'll have to be more specific. Well, it was, uh... Climb... The walls of this circular room curved to meet at a point near back in there. Yeah, we, we read the manual, right? Okay, how about... Control... <laughs> Control deck, array of... Uh, use control deck. Uh, okay. Use switches. Right, I need to be more specific. Oh... If I pull on the joysticks, will that be okay? Best not to fill with controls. I read the manual! Hmm. What are you holding on to? Uh, electrical tape. Out of order. Oh, I should probably fix that freaking... Um, maybe I can fix the wires that are popping with the tape. Uh, okay. Climb ladder. Uh, enter hatch. Uh, y uh, use tape on wire. You wrap the tape around the bare wire, insulating it. Your score has gone up by okay. one and two third points. We're making progress. There was this really old game on uh, the video way. Mm-hmm. Uh, old, old stupid video old way. cable uh, box Shit that you would get garbage video and it would have garbage games on it Fuck. and there was this game called Temporel Inc Temporal Inc mm -hmm. where you would uh, you travel through time and you crashed in the pyramid okay and you had to like go in the pyramid and find the resources to fix your pyramid and get out and stuff it, it's kind of like you, that and you, and you crushed it 
Uh, I managed to finish it, but as an adult only. Okay, well. Like, it was hard. It was hard. Uh, and you could drink, like, water in urns because there was, like, 20 different actions you could do. But you could also poison yourself if you didn't drink the right thing. And, uh, what about goop bacon milkshakes? I did not have that in there. All right. But this is infinitely better just because of that. What are you, what are you holding on to? Uh, I got the out of order note. A can of pink goop. Uh, can I use the pink goop? I don't think so up to now. It might be useful later. But now the wires work. The wires uh, work. What else haven't you used? The Zork mids. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what those are. Those are good to have. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, you're, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's enter back through the... Right, Gosh. you got the sleeping pods. And we fixed the wires, we got sleepy pods. Can we sleep? Can't sleep safely until you're confident you'll return to bug <laughs> okay, mark fine, by the end of the fine. trip. That's cool. Okay. Um, and... We used the, the manual again, right? But yeah. oh, you, you, you don't have it anymore. And now we have... Yeah, okay, this is the dream. So what about that control deck? Does it look better now? No. Huh. Okay. In your game package. Um... I so hope it's not some look at the codec number on the package <laughs> of, uh, on the jewel case. So you've you've uh, you've you've taped the wires up, mm -hmm. and when you use the control panel, what happens? Uh, I got uh, at the bottom. I got goop, and I got uh, the currency the Zork mints. I mean, now that things are taped up, I mean, do you, do you get a different result? Okay. Um. Uh, whoops. More pink goop streams out, splashing against the flat platform. Okay. This, yeah, that's anywhere. that's all, so that's all the same. Um. Okay. Uh. Perhaps the hatch. Hmm. Quarters. I mean, I mean, you, 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 I said go there. <laughs> Enter hatch, and then you got the sleeping pod. What are you holding? Should I fill up the pod with goop? That would make no sense to me. Uh, you bring the can close to the hole the hole sucks the pink goop right in the nearby gauge fills up your score has gone up by nine halves of a point but why okay don't 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 question it how is the pod looking like Sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid. You have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? It's a hole in the top reading. Full. But why? <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is... This is weird. Why would I want to fill up the sleeping pod? And... Oh, sleeping pod next to the nightstand. And the nightstand, like, had nothing in particular, right? It's just... And then we check the manual. 
and I'm supposed to be confident enough to use now the computer. Now you are. Yeah, now you're confident enough. All right, so... Uh, right. Uh, what are the options? Can I use turn push buttons? Are there buttons on the... Uh -huh. You definitely plot a course back to Bugmars. The engine roars as you feel G-forces shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh. You run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of time is going to be spent going through bug customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. Your score has gone up by three and a third points. Okay. Um, can I travel? Am I traveling? Luckily, you can sleep through it. Look uh, at uh, how they call that, that port thing. Let's look around. Look. Uh, X porthole. Luckily, you can sleep through it. Okay. I was expecting them to tell me something else about the porthole, but I guess we can just go, go back. Uh... Luckily, you can sleep through it. Uh, you lie down in the sleeping pod, close the lid, and drift off. Secure the 57-something years. You'll return to Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blurrily glance to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice awakens from the next room. Awake already, a wispy human figure in bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps, and you realize that you've been transmogrified into a human form. Okay. Okay, we have a, a princess and the frog thing happening right now. Press space to continue. What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> Where is my dignity? Where is my dignity? Watch out, man. They're eating your fruit. You awake with a start. What a horrible dream. You call your friend, Draggy the Flying Dragon, just to talk to someone. Yellow, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. I'm not sure that a support group for human bug in enter eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy Ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first? I know just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door, dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. <laughs> what? Let us continue. What the... My tongue was so short. Candidate Hop, what do you say to the allegations that you're not a natural born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? A word? I, I, I need my DDR fingers now? Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this game? Fractions. I'm learning. Are you? That's the goal. Yeah. Uh-huh. Perfect. Nice. Good combo. Uh oh. Yo, you need rhythm. Mm, 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 mm. fast did you ever play ddr i did yeah yeah were and you a boss no but i loved the fuck out of end of the century oh my god yeah it's oh man end, you smoked the him end, the end of the century you're a shoe in for president end of the century no 
crazy, the world is changing. Many people will agree. Many faces be awesome. <laughs> this game. It's the end of the century. We so got drunk history. Gastropod. Ferdinand Croker. <laughs> Flaps McQueen. With the moving flag in the background. Mora <laughs> And introducing Draggy Ceiling Eater as himself, <laughs> created by Twinbeard. Numerators and denominators. Frog. Fractions. Your coffee, Mr. President. Ooh. Heavy on the cream. Ba -ba -da -ba. Bug Economy Manager. Weather report. Thunderstorms, Tw bug assets, 2 million zork mids. Cost cool. to produce bug porn, 10,000 zork mids slash megabytes. Per megabyte? What the How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? I mean, I, I kind of want to keep some zork mids. So how about... I mean, who am I kidding, really? Do, do I want to... Yeah, I kind of... <laughs> Don't worry, this is interface is temporary. The bug software engineers are at hard at work on Bug Excel 98. How many pop up banner ads, 15,000 Zork mid each, do you wish to purchase? No, I'm good. I'm good. What price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? <sighs> good prices. 1,000. Day one results. <laughs> Juvenile bug posing as health inspectors give product th thumbs up. Everyone wants to see. Bug seemed unaware of porn today. Press space. What a patriot. That flag, I tell you. Flag waving in the background just gets you right in the mood, you know, to do what you got to do. You made 200 megabytes of bug porn at $10,000 a megabyte. You sold 37 megabytes of bug porn at 1000 a megabyte. Budget, 2 million. GDP, 37 a uh, thousand profit one million nine hundred and s minus nine hundred one million nine hundred and sixty three uh thousand and assets thirty seven thousand how many zork mids do you want to order the bug federal reserve to print that's how you fix the economy that's see? how you fix the fucking there's economy. no problem that's how you fix the economy what there's a limit that's not like real life I can only do like, that should be infinite money. That's fine, baby. That's fine. I guess we'll let your successor work, worry about the inflation See, problem. See, that's how it works. That flag waving is all you need to think about. That's what, that's what I want. Yes. Tears in your eyes. Oh, <laughs> we're back to the upgrades. What would you like to purchase? Drugging the water supply with pacified delinquent bugs, keeping them off the street and out of trouble. Hmm. And staying home, coincidentally, watching bug porn. Now, that was available from the start of the game. That was right there the whole time. You just couldn't afford it. But did, now we can. But did you really need it back then? Would you say that circumstances have changed? <laughs> Definitely. Meteorology satellites available. A system of satellites to help meteorologists provide accurate and precise weather <laughs> Sorry. forecasts for 3, 000, 3 million sort of minutes. So, you know. Porn for everyone. Porn on every table of Bug Mars. Bug weather. Sunny. Okay. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Yeah, I do. I do need some pop-up batteries. So let's get, let's get, let's get a good campaign going. Well, now that they, some of them did get a taste of the bug porn, so now you can start like charging a bit more. You know. 
You're very conservative, Reggie. Impressive wingspan. Fiscally conservative. <laughs> If you make changes too drastically, people, they catch on, you know? And if you want to make something drastic, you need to put something to distract them in the background. The in-house bug porn musician decided to make bug classical crossover today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs seem unaware of porn today. You made 420 megabytes of bug porn. You know, it is what it is. But you got 15 million in assets. Okay, okay. I, I do I do need people to buy more. I think we're gonna have to slow down the production. Unless like the other the rest of the porn is wasted. How many Zork mids do you want to print? That seems like a pretty a decent amount of Zork mids. Yes. I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. What do you want? Huh. Meteorology satellites? Might as well. I mean, we, we got the money for it, and it, it helps the economy, right? What is the economy? I make it. I am the what, economy what, right what, now. What economy? <laughs> An outbreak of frog STDs. Whoops. And bug porn actors is driving production costs up. Oh no, Pinky, no. Why? Weather, weather report cloudy. All my bu bug assets. Where's Harry Potter? Mm. Soon the world will know. The weather report. <laughs> hey, um, you know, pick a number. Do your thing. Well, nothing bad's happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reasonable. There you go. If it can be done, it can happen. Yeah. No. Universal. You're not being basic reasonable. You're not porn. being reasonable. You're not being reasonable. You're not being reasonable. <laughs> Just let me do it. Fine. 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 Oh, God. I made 420 and it didn't sell last time. How about make let, let's make it rarer? How many ads? Let's make it sell. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, definitely not. I'll be ruined. Yeah, okay, let's let's invest. Let's invest. Uh What do you charge for a megabyte of bug porn? <laughs> I prefer something more uh, Do you now? The bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. Bug porn sensors bought all the bug porn at lunchtime. Son of a dick. You made 100 megabytes of bug porn at 12,000 a megabyte, and you did numbers, you know. About sold. You got 115 million. How many do you want to print? Big profits. You got 35, you know, 3.5 million profits. Nice, nice job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, how about, uh, what's going on? What's going on? Padlocks are available. <laughs> Adding a padlock to bug porn storage warehouse should cut down on the storage considerably. The, pa <laughs> the the icon is padlocked. The padlock icon is to purchase a padlock. Oh my god! <laughs> what? As opposed what are these to a locked. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just. It what is, are these mind games? It is what it is. You've unlocked the padlock. Good job. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Hot and dry. How many megabytes or of porn do I wish to make? Yeah, we can we can start like bringing it up a bit, you know. And I'm gonna release maybe like what price? Let's 
Let's try to be ambitious. Ambitious. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. That's true. Superb performances in today's bug porn. Too hot. The warehouse burned down. You sold zero <laughs> megabytes. That sucks, though. That really sucks. Profits minus nine million seven hundred and fifty thousand. Assets two hundred and four million. How many to print? Yes, that's my successor's problem. A. Hey. Oh, what do we have here? Presidential swimming pool available. This heated pool provides a familiar wet environment in which the bug president can relax for the low, low cost of five thousand five million sorkmits. The country wants me to have it. Well, you're done taking a break here, and we need to get back to work, huh? Uh, remember the good old days? Oh my god. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Good job. <laughs> good job. The good old days. But the economy, though. But the economy. Can I be sure that everybody's gonna get their bug porn, though? Is there a sequel to this? I mean, they will certainly get their uh, economy uh, that was adrift on the bug porn industry and the DS it prints money system. Uh, the, 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 the consequences will eventually be felt. Hey, look. Oh my god. It's your bug porn. I mean, it's censored, but that looks like a really long... Anyway. Hey, man. You made that. You made that. What's your problem? How do you feel about math, Reggie? People have to learn. People have to learn. I was helping, right? What do I got to do to wake you up? <laughs> to wake you up? To break the system up? <laughs> oh my god. They an Is it? Oh, yep, it's happening again. Oh my god. Turn the power to the half knights. Then came the shot. What the fuck am I looking at? Where did we start? Wake this started up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Hey, hey, you started out learning fractions. I did. You were having a hard time. I was. I actually was. But then... I was so confused. Your eyes opened, didn't they? My eyes are you open. Saw, you saw the error of your ways, and you learned fractions. I learned a bit more than fractions, actually. It's a good school. Great curriculum. So, Reggie, what you missed was years ago, years <laughs> ago, a Flash game appeared on the internet called Frog Fractions. And it was what it was, what it was. And we all learned at a young age about frog fractions and the deal with frog fractions much like fight club is you don't talk about frog fractions you don't hint about frog fractions you say nothing about frog fractions you just play frog fractions and it is what it is what it is what it is i'm in there i've been initiated and then there was a kickstarter and that kickstarter was for Frog Fractions 2. And everyone's like, what the fuck does that mean? And they said, well, you give us the money, and we'll make Frog Fractions 2. And they're like, okay, but what, where will it, how do we get it? And they said, oh, we won't tell you, but we'll make it. And we'll put a game out, but good luck finding it. And everyone's like, yeah. So they made a game, and they didn't tell anybody what it was. And then that game came out, and it's somewhere in that game is Frog Fractions 2. Eventually, it was discovered which game it was. Spoiler alert, unfortunately, didn't really, it was, it was, didn't, didn't get all the way through it. Didn't get all the way through it. It was a bit, it was a bit rough. It was a bit rough. Uh, didn't quite have, didn't, didn't, didn't quite see everything there was to offer there. However, years later, we are now in a world where they decided to release Frog Fractions on Steam. And I said, hey, 
my boy Reggie could use some math lessons. It, it was it was a nice refreshment. Good practice. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You got some sounds you can click. Do they do they make the noises? There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, along with uh, this game, which came out on Steam, yes, for free, uh, mind you, they sold a piece of DLC. Okay. Oh, you can, you can, we can get out of there. We can, dear God, we can get out of there. <laughs> um, in fact, I don't know, like, can you, can you press escape? Can you, can we get past? Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, and get back to that main menu. So the piece of DLC they sold. And the DLC was, uh, a hat that we okay. can put on our frog. That's and cool. the hat costs eight dollars. Now, I don't know why the hat costs eight dollars, but the hat costs eight dollars. It's in line with the game. So, I bought the hat, <laughs> and it's right there on the, on the, on the, yeah, but I, I have no idea why the hat costs eight dollars, <laughs> but it costs eight dollars. <laughs> Support. So, the game is free, but the hat costs $8. <laughs> so I'm curious to find out why the hat costs $8.